Odds. Expressions of likelihood are often given as odds, such as 50, uh, semicolon 1, or 50 to 1. Here are advantages of probabilities and odds. Now, odds make it easier to deal with money transfers associated with gambling. That is why odds are commonly used in casinos, lotteries, and racetracks. Now, probabilities make calculations easier. That is why probabilities tend to be used by statisticians, mathematicians, scientists, and researchers in all fields. Now, in the three definitions that follow, the actual odds against and the actual odds in favor reflect the actual likelihood of an event. But the payoff odds describe the payoff amounts that are determined by casino, lottery, and racetrack operators. Racetracks and casinos are in business to make a profit, so the payoff odds will not be the same as the actual odds. So let's take a look at the definition of the actual odds. The actual odds against event A occurring are the ratio, which is the probability of the complement of A divided by the probability of event A occurring. This is usually expressed in the form of A semicolon B or A to B, where A and B are integers. So reduce using the largest common factor. So if A is equal to 16, and b is equal to 4, we would express the odds as 4 to 1 instead of 16 to 4. Now we have the actual odds in favor. The actual odds in favor of event A occurring are the ratio of the probability of event A divided by the probability of the complement of event A, which is the reciprocal of the actual odds against that event. If the odds against an event are A to B, then the odds in favor are B to A. Now the payoff odds against event A occurring are the ratio of the net profit if you win to the amount bet. So that means here the payoff odds against event A is equal to the net profit to the amount bet. So let's take a look at an example, actual odds versus payoff odds. Now let's say if you bet $5 on the number 13 in roulette, your probability of winning is 1 out of 38, but the payoff odds are given by the casino as 35 to 1. So for example A, or for question A, Find the actual odds against the outcome of 13. Now recall that the actual odds against event A occurring are the ratio, which is the probability of complement of A, divided by the probability of event A. So let's take a look here. With the probability of event 13 occurring is in the question and that probability is 1 out of 38. Now we have to determine what would be the complement of not getting a 13. Well the probability of the complement which is not a 13 would be all the other choices out of 38 which would be 37 over 38. So then we get the following. So remember that the formula okay, of the actual odds against 13 is the probability of the complement divided by the probability of the event. So the probability of not 13 is equal to the fraction 37 divided by 38, divided by the probability of 13, which is the fraction 1 over 38. Since these 38s are both denominators of these fractions, you simplify those, and you end up getting 37 over 1, or 37 to 1. So therefore, those are the actual odds against the outcome of 13. It would be 37 to 1 or 37 over 1. Now the next question says, how much net profit would you make if you win by betting $5 on 13? So now we need to recall the payoff odds against event A.
that's equal to the net profit to the amount bet. So because the casino payoff odds against 13 are 35 to 1, and if you go back to the question, the payoff odds are given by the casino as 35 to 1. So therefore we have to make note of that. So we have the following. 35 to 1 is going to equal the net profit to the amount bet. So therefore, there is a $35 profit for each $1 bet. Now, for a $5 bet, the net profit is going to be 5 times the $35. So therefore, 5 times 35 is going to give us $175. So the winning better would collect $175 plus the original $5 bet. So therefore, after winning, the total amount collected would be $175 plus the original $5 bet which would equal $180. That means that you would have a net profit of $175. Now in part C, it says, if the casino was not operating for profit and the payoff odds were changed to match the actual odds against 13, how much would you win if the outcome were 13? Now, if the casino were not operating for profit, then the payoff odds would be changed to 37 to 1. Okay, that's because that's what we got in Part A. In Part A, we got 37 to 1. So therefore, 37 to 1 is equal to the net profit to the amount bet, which are the actual odds against the outcome of 13. So there is a net profit of $37 for each $1 bet. So therefore, for a $5 bet, the net profit is going to be $5 times, excuse me, 5 times the $37, which is equal to $185. So therefore, the casino makes its profit by providing a profit of only $175 instead of the 185 that would be paid with a roulette game that is fair instead of favoring the casino.